So you got good at growing mushrooms and now you need a way to sell them. And you're wondering, how do I approach a restaurant or how do I even find a restaurant that I think will need this product or like this product? Well, I'm here to help you today. I'm gonna to share how I got mine and the things I do to get a client. Hopefully this helps you get your sales up and that's it. I'll see you in the next clip. Before I get into how I approach a restaurant, I wanna talk about how I find one that I think will use my product. There's many ways to go about finding a restaurant. Obviously, you're gonna know some restaurants in the area, which is perfect, you can start there. But another good way to really sort things out is just to use Google Maps. You can literally go on Google Maps and filter all the restaurants from high end to low end and start there. You can start with the upper end ones and work your way all the way down. Also, Google's gonna give you a really quick idea of how the distance of where these restaurants are at. We're not gonna drive three hours somewhere for one sale, you know what I mean? And also, you gotta somehow map out deliveries after you get a couple clients. Maybe a delivery day when things are ready, you harvest and deliver. Another really nice way you can get into a restaurant is getting recommendations from family or friends or whoever. A really easy way to break the ice using this tactic is just by going to them and saying, hey, I have this really awesome product and I'm wondering if you'd be interested in it. I was recommended by a bunch of different people to come to this restaurant and offer this beautiful product. Is it something that you'd like to use? It's as simple as that and I've had luck with it. So I think you will too. Now that we've gotten a little bit into approaching a restaurant, I wanna get deeper into that and talk a little bit about really how I set myself up for success when approaching a restaurant, chefs or clients in general. One thing I love to have is this nice little pamphlet I put together. It has all these different recipes on them with really nice pictures of all the different things I've cooked. Even though the chefs know these mushrooms, what they are, how they're cooked, and what to use them with, this is just a great reminder of all the different things they can do with it. It'll get their, their mind jogging of different things they can add to the menu. And has helped me get a bunch of really cool things on some menus at different restaurants. And in the end, that equated to sales. Another thing you can come with is business cards. I do have business cards. I don't really like to use them. And here's why. When approaching a restaurant, I like to get the chef's number. So if I give them a business card, usually it gets tossed away or it gets put to the side because they're very busy. They're gonna have a lot to do. It's really nice to have them in your contact in case you ever have a load of mushrooms and you don't know what to do with, you can give them a great deal on some nice product and pretty much always they'll take your deal and they'll be left with a bunch of beautiful mushrooms and you'll get something for them and it usually works out. The next thing when planning to approach a restaurant would be the time that you come to a restaurant. Make sure you come in a time that they are not super busy. Chefs are scrambling all over the place. I have a lot of respect for them. There's a lot going on in the busier seasons. So it's really important that you come at a time that is usually before open. They'll usually be prepping stuff and it's a great time to get your foot in there, talk to them, present what you have to offer and so on. Without a doubt, the most important thing you can do is bring some product. Walking into a restaurant with something like this, a beautiful bouquet of all different mushrooms, even more prettier than this, will set you up for some deals. The product is gonna be able to sell itself if it's looking really, really good. If they're just getting their mushrooms from a distributor, it's going to be hard to compete with your beautiful product, especially if it's just slightly above their pricing. You're also throwing in the local card, so hey, these are grown locally within a 250 mile radius is considered local, which is important for a lot of restaurants. Another thing is be generous with your product. Mushrooms grow in a lot of dead decaying matter, so it usually doesn't cost too much to grow. Don't give too much away, but let them know, here's some, here's my number, or exchange contact information. Um, try my mushrooms out. If you like them, give me a call. And of course, that's if they don't already buy the product right off your hands, right there. Before I get into the next couple tips, if you like this video at all, please go ahead and like the video. Comment if you have any questions, but subscribing would be greatly appreciated as it lets me know that there's people out there that are interested in this kind of content and makes me happy to make more of it. The last couple things I want to mention are things that have to do with your resume. Coming into a restaurant and letting them know that you are insured, you grow organically, or have taken some food handling safety courses either online or in person is just going to add so much more credibility when you go in to see a chef and present your product to them. But most importantly, it's going to give you the edge over any competition. With all that being said, there's still many different ways to go about getting potential customers. Get creative, go to events, and meet people, and get your contact list up. Don't be afraid to fail a couple times. You only live once. Go shoot your shot, and I wish you all the best of luck. I'll see you in the next video.